Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is just me, Sarah, with an H. I almost said the opposite. It's just another solo vid. Sarah should be coming back soon, so that's exciting. But you're stuck with me again for another video. Boo! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey everybody, how's it going? It is March 9th right now. The video that I'm doing happened a while ago, but I'm reacting to it now because we didn't get around to do it. So let's get into the video. So February 27th, 2023 was the best FIFA football awards. They had the women's and they had the men's. We're obviously focusing on the women today. We'll go over some of their looks and pictures that some of the players posted on Instagram. Then we'll go over the winners at the end. And yeah, let's uh, react to some of the posts that the players posted. But I'm not going to react to all to everybody's posts. Just a few. Let's jump into that. So Beth Mead posted this February 28th and the caption read the best night with this lot and trophy emoji and soccer ball emoji slash football. So this first photo, I'm like, I, I'm, I'm really digging this outfit. First of all, uh, comfy, like super comfortable. Ugh, I'm all about the comfort. I mean, everybody should be about the comfort these days, right? Because comfort is fashion and fashion is comfort. <gasps> Somebody put that on a t-shirt, please. Oh! She's got some like beach, beachy blonde, uh, wavy hair curls kind of look, which I really love. And you got the, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is one fashion thing I think I know, bandeau. I used to call it a bandaloo. I think I've mentioned that before, but nope. A bando, I think. Brawlet, bra thing, brassiere. Not sure what you call it, but it looks great. She's showing the abs. I'm liking the khaki look. They've been like really, her and Viv have really been like pulling these looks off. Like just the comfort with the shoes, with the chill, with the kind of baggy, kind of like oversized look. It really suits them and it's looking real good. Second photo here, we've got a great picture of Beth again in her outfit with, I love the hands in the pocket, very chic. Like I, I wish she would pull out like a pocket watch. That'd be cool. Like, hey, grandpa's got you a pocket watch. <laughs> Right? Then we've got Viv here looking looking very nice. They, they're like the pantsuit couple. Please. They are the pantsuit couple. And I love it. I love it so much. I mean, that's the look. That is literally the look these days. Like, don't go too hard. Go simple, subtle, sexy. Simple and subtle is it. In this next photo, we have all of the winners here on stage. They all look amazing. Then the next picture, you can see Beth and Viv sitting behind Messi and this other guy that I probably should know, but do not know his name. So sorry. This next photo, I like this next photo. <laughs> We've got a representative for Pepto-Bismol here. No, no, no. Who commented on an Alex Morgan? I don't know who it was, but I think it was another soccer player. And they commented that she looked like Pepto-Bismol. I love that color. This is them with their awards. And then she posted a photo of her with you know, a soccer ball. And she's really capturing, encapsulating. I'm not sure what word I want to use here. But the nudes, like the nude colors, the tans, the creams, they are really for her. And they are working because not everybody can pull those off. But she's really, she's really doing something there. In this next photo, it's like a behind the scenes photo. We've got them on the red carpet. Oh, I wonder if this is the team. Is this the team they showed up with? And then a picture here with looks like, I believe he's a club reporter for Arsenal Media. I didn't just Google that. They look like they're just chilling on the stairs. If your night isn't ending on the stairs, are you even doing it right? I don't think you are. But they look great. I mean, I love the comfy shoes. I especially love Beth's shoes. They're a power couple who knows how to dress, knows how to work it, but also doesn't overdo it, and knows how to do it just right. Right? What's a night without an elevator photo? You need the quintessential elevator photo. Very nice elevator, by the way. No. <laughs> the same day, Viv also posted this lovely photo of them. And Viv Miedema says, lovely staircase. Speech of the night at Mary Earps. Hashtag the best. Very, very classy lounging on those stairs. I envision them doing this like in Ibiza poolside with some cocktails, having some martinis or something, sipping on them and just chilling and relaxing in that position and just having the time of their life. 
They look super cute together. Next, Alex Morgan also posted some photos from the night. She has herself posing here, looking fabulous, amazing. Love her makeup. Makeup always looks great. Hair always looks great. Outfits look great. I mean, she's great. Here she is posing with her husband. Oh, and she has the the little pink little bag. I like that. If, if you ever ask, is it too much pink? The answer is no not enough pink. And then there's another photo of her on the red carpet. Well, I'm sorry, green carpet. I really love that jacket of hers. I like it. It's like, I don't even know what kind of jacket to call it, but I like it. Alex also posted a couple more pictures of her. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is the first time I'm realizing was the dress code, a little bralette thing, and then showing a little bit of abs and uh, wearing a blazer jacket. And it looks like she's in her hotel room. Oh, she even has a pink watch. She should have put some streaks of pink in her hair. I'm just going to kind of read a little bit, just a little snippet here from The Athletic wrote something uh, the 27th after the awards show. And they kind of put who won and everything. Alexia Patelis named Women's Footballer of the Year at the Best FIFA Football Awards. Alexia Patelis has been named Footballer of the Year at the Best FIFA Awards. Patelis, 29, won the award her second year in a row ahead of England's Euro 2022 winner Beth Mead and U.S. Women's National Team star Alex Morgan. I'll just quickly go over the winners for the women's awards. So the goalkeeper was Christiane Endler and defenders Lucy Bronze, Leah Williamson, Wendy Renard, Mappy Leon, midfielders Kira Walsh, Alexia Patelis, Lena Oberdorf, and forwards Megan, nope, <laughs> forwards Alex Morgan, Beth Mead, and Sam Kerr. Alexia won for the second time in a row. I mean, she just keeps winning things. Alexia Patelis posted on Febu February 28th. Thank you to everyone who voted for me to win this amazing award. Thanks also to my family and friends, my teammates, the coaching staff, the club and its employees, all the fans, and all the people who helped me along the way. Congratulations to all the winners. And she's posed here with her award. This is her winning the award. Looking, looking fabulous in that white dress. I just wanted to do a quick reaction. Sorry it's happening so late, but at least it's happening. I feel like there's so many things happening in the soccer world that, you know, it's hard to keep up. So things might be a little delayed for a while, but hopefully we'll get back on it and back on track as soon as possible. But, you know, bear with us for now. What did everyone think of the looks? What did everyone think of the winners and the, the outfits that everyone was wearing? Let me know in the comments below. Questions, comments down below as always. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a, you know what? Why don't you go on and have yourself a blessed day? Go for it. Okay. And good night.